This is the fight of our lives. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. Thank you for joining us for another Movie Lingo discussion. I'm Eddie Lingo. I'm Iris. I'm Ron. And I'm Kumar. This is the first time we've been together in a minute. Yeah. All right. So let's let's do this. I'm excited because this is the first time we've actually had a full discussion. Even though it's not with video, we got it going on Skype, Movie Lingo. But we got us together for the Avengers Endgame. And we're, we're having this discussion now. We're going to move forward with this. Okay. So by now... If anybody hasn't seen this, I don't know what to tell you. You know, this is going to be a spoiler. We're going to talk this thing all the way through, you know, at every aspect. So if you haven't seen it, please cut it off, go watch the movie, and then come back and then check us out. Because this is going to be spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. And I'm not going to waste my time or anybody else's time with any type of synopsis or anything. Let's just get into it. All right, so Iris, I, uh, I, want, I want to start with you because I think, it, I think it's been the longest for you since you've been on a movie lingo discussion because I did Venom with uh, Kumar and then um, uh, Ron and I did something shortly after that but I think it's been a while Iris I think you've been the longest you've been furthest away so I want to start with you welcome back yes thank you thank you you know <laughs> tell us how you felt about it without going too deep you know okay so when it comes to Avengers Endgame I mean I had all signed all types of emotions went through me during this movie i laughed i cried i was pissed off uh, i was all over the place emotionally i felt like i was pmsing during the movie um but i really did enjoy it i really did enjoy it i mean i i honestly had zero problems with this movie zero problems with this movie all right that's yeah. what's up I, I all right. Well, before we start tapping into all of that, because you know, you know, good old Eddie, he's always got something. Uh, um, Kumar, <laughs> let me hear your thoughts, man. All right. So, this movie had a very different formula to it, and and in the way that I, and I think I would say, when I first walked into the theater and the movie started playing, I feel like everything in script was written too ironically easy i feel like everything was so perfect but i didn't really mind because of the the tone of this movie the tone of this movie was to come back and be the heroes again but i right. did feel like a lot of things in the writing aspect went so conveniently well for the story to just continue flowing without okay. explanation Kumar's talking about writing Kumar never talks about the writing. I've had some time That's, to think. So Kumar, either that or he's sober as fuck. <laughs> All right, so. <laughs> so, Ryan, talk to me. Tell me how you felt about the movie without going too deep. Um, That's what she said. Um, <laughs> I just feel I just felt like the, uh, the movie was uh, a nice close for 22 movies. You know, we got the mm -hmm. Spider-Man 2 coming out. Um, it was a movie based off of how the series was, which was failures and, and everyone's failures trying to rise up. It just, as magical as it was, there was no award-winning performance or anything that stood out. Um, but all in all, it was still a great movie. I just, I felt like it could have done more uh, to make all of us feel emotionally tied to everything from beginning to end, so, yeah. I hear you on that. I hear you on that. Uh, for me, I guess I'm just a girl then. No, see, no. That there's <coughs> moments where, see, there's moments that I felt I the same it. thing you felt. I so tear it up when, when, when Fal. I mean, we'll, we'll get into it. But I tear it up when Falcon had the shield. Hey, hey. Because to me that was big, especially getting people of color, you know, to stand up and have, you know, someone carry their lunchbox and the all woman motion. So there was moments that got me, but. <laughs> it wasn't I needed I needed more for this to be okay. it. Okay. So. I got you. All right. Well, I got to tell you I I thought I thought the movie uh was phenomenal. I thought that like you guys all mentioned it had everything, you know, it 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 it, it just pushed some emotions, you know, some emotional buttons. It it was exciting. It was intense. You were angry, you know, all of those things are great. Uh it's an excellent close to this chapter of the MCU. Um 
but I cannot say it is a flawless movie. No, I can't give it that. <laughs> yeah, I can't give it that. Um, but even still, uh, my issues, my issues that I have, and we're going to discuss them. They were big. They were big to me, but they uh, they still it still didn't stop me from wanting to say that this was actually a phenomenal movie. But it did lower my rating, and we're going to get into all that. But after twelve years, twenty two films, um, I just you know one we're we're a part of like cinematic history <laughs> you know mm-hmm. you know no no other franchise can say that they've actually strung together the same story arc over 22 movies all right so everybody knows this movie's about okay <laughs> so let's just let's just dig right in anybody listen to this now we're not we're not going to talk about how great the cg was we're not going to talk about you know, um, I mean, we'll get into the little stuff like that and the certain characters that reach certain heights that were in the comic books. But I want to get into the things that actually bother me about this movie, because I know some of you thought it was flawless. OK, um, um, just one. We could just be honest. It was just one person that really enjoyed it and is not nitpicking. But whatever. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should just end my call right now. There's no point. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I feel like I feel like Kumar is going to be in the exact same avenue or lane as you. So, uh, you know what? Well, yeah, I mean, well, Kumar said that there are some issues, but we already it. know that he's still willing to. Ooh, he's, see, yeah, he's still. <laughs> we already know that his his rating is just. Is re- is is, you know is all the way. That's gonna get blurted out. That's <laughs> gonna get blurted. All this is gonna get blurted out. Yeah. Well, you maybe you'll mention it things is. that it I didn't stage. notice that made that made. And me I like, was oh, just, you're right. I was that just was gonna say, Kamar is that type of person. I don't know if you heard. <laughs> this is like some a fast food foodie is reviewing something, and they're like, you know, this is pretty good. I'm gonna. I like it a lot. I'm gonna give it out of a hundred. I like it a lot. I'm gonna give it a three out of a hundred. I didn't like it very much. <laughs> That's basically what he just did. That is, that is true. You do do that. Uh-huh. It's like you defend shit to the end, and then your score totally goes against everything that yeah, comes I out mean, of your I really, mouth. I really like it. It's all about you know, a cinematic 100, I'm gonna experience, give it man. That's why we pay to see these movies. <laughs> all right. That's what's up. Okay, so let me talk about the... the the, uh, I'm not going to talk about the biggest thing. I'm going to talk about one of the big things that bother me. And, of course, every time I say this, people roll their eyes. So I'm already prepared for it. So, you guys, just feel free to just roll on. Ron is in the dark now. All right. Oh, no. Just feel free to roll your eyes. Do whatever you need to do. Okay. But uh, one of my biggest issues in this, um, not only in this film, but just in the entire uh, MCU, um, was I felt like we got cheated twice. I felt like I got cheated. Number one, I felt like I got cheated when it comes to the Hulk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. In Infinity War, you know, Hulk gets gets uh, he gets his shit handed to him. Okay, <laughs> and I know that the Hulk can put up a better fight than that. Even though Thanos had uh, some of the stones at the time, he didn't have all of them. But and then you know he was even the Hulk wasn't even in the movie after that. He was kind of like scared to come out, whatever. <laughs> so in this film, I was really hoping that when they finally. Um, that since everybody was looking to redeem themselves, since everybody was blaming themselves for letting shit get as bad as they did, that he would be one of the first ones out there, even though his arm was fucked up from do, from using the gauntlet, that he would be one of the first ones out there uh, ready to trade blows. And I didn't expect him to, to beat Thanos, but I just expected him to give him a good run for his money because he owed him one, round two. And then to make matters worse, he was not even seen in the final battle at all. Once everybody showed up and was like, okay, we're here. That was it. You never saw Hulk again. That shit hurt my heart. How do you guys feel about that? Who wants to jump on that first? You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I never even really noticed that. That shit hurts my heart too. But you know what? You make a very, very, very good point. You make a very good point. Um, Hmm. That is kind of annoying. I would have actually liked to see him go at odds with Thanos now that you mention it. Because, I mean, he did really punk him out in Infinity War. So I felt like right. he deserved to get that comeback. Some type of comeback. Some Something. At least one good something. punch in. Something. Yeah, yeah. What, some, if, just what, if his, like, what if his comeback was on the intellectual? And they're like, hey, look, we don't want him to be branded as that guy anymore. Well, no, I'm not saying they had to bring him back. Like, I mean, they even joked about it. Too, <laughs> but again, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, they joked about it where it was a different Hulk that was not being physical. 
Yeah, but that that Hulk actually exists in the comic books, and yeah. that's my like like I, I've said in the past. That's my favorite version of all the Hulks. The the Professor Hulk is is what he goes by in the comics, and he was still able to tap into that rage when he so even though he was walking around as this giant genius and he was a little bit more calm, yeah. he could still tap into that if he needed to, and so that's what I wanted, especially since after all of this, you know, he also. We lost Black Widow, and he couldn't bring her back. So I just really expected him to be like, mm-hmm. "You, you know," and just <laughs> yeah. just come so at him at least once. <laughs> it's like they gave a little nod to Professor Hulk, but they didn't see it through. Right. You know, it's kind of like a, a just like almost like an Easter egg, even though he was in mm-hmm. the movie, so it shouldn't really be an Easter egg because his yeah. character was actually there. Yeah. But that's how they treated us. <laughs> no, they you know? they gave that what you're looking for. I felt like they gave that to Scarlet Witch. A little bit. Well, she yeah, did come she back with a vengeance for sure. Yeah. She, yeah, she um, she actually almost ended the she, shit. Yeah, she about to close the movie in the dark. Like, oh, what up was a blow your load? Yeah, let's figure this out. Just chill, <laughs> slow down. Right. It's, uh, she don't almost blow speed your bump. load, really. Speed bump, slow down. God, <laughs> curvatures. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, so that's it on the Hulk thing. Everybody just. <laughs> I wish they would have gave Hulk a Kubar- little, a little. I wish Hulk would have got smacked when he went back to the future. And then he would have started raging out again. Like, right after he looked at himself, do dumb Hulk shit, I wish he would have turned around, got hit, got mad, and started beating shit up. I, that's what I wish would have happened. That well, would have been I, great, too, but, you know. I don't know. We, I think that part no, was no, kind of no, funny no, when he was like, the, uh, Try to blend in? I, no, 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 listen, I thought it was hilarious because I feel like, again, two <laughs> oh. movies, what, the first one, 2008? We've all gone through things, whether you have growing our family you know, dating, work, whatever. And we're not, I don't think any of us is the same person we were since 2008. No, definitely not. So to sit there and him being embarrassed of who he was, yeah. I yeah. thought it was great to be like, I'm so over this. Like, I'm not just a pretty face. I'm more than, you know. So I took it as maturity. I just, I mean, I get what you're saying, that you wanted him to do this for the battle or have a more significant role, but uh, physically. But I just felt like where they were putting him at, they didn't want him to be this and i'm assuming they're gonna keep him in the the universe for that same thing yeah i'm pretty sure we'll see him again just like that and hopefully somebody will piss him off and then i can just get up and rip my shirt off in the theater Uh, Uh, but anyway uh (laughs) all right so my my number two moment that i felt cheated and this was big for me this is really really big because not only did i feel cheated because of the way that the events played out the MCU made me look stupid, okay? Because of my last review on oh, yeah, Captain, Captain Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> okay? Captain Marvel was actually pointless in this movie. And I, I know you guys may not agree, but hear well. me out. So when you're done, sir, pass it this Here, way. Okay. I'm going to go right to you first, Kumar, then, as soon as I'm done. But I feel like Captain Marvel was actually pointless in this movie, and it pissed <laughs> me off because they gave us a, a movie that was, that was okay, mediocre. But I gave it a pass because I'm like, listen... They can't give you everything at once because they're just they're just setting you up because she's gonna come in and be phenomenal and super strong in this in the end game. And so I'm sitting there waiting for it and we get her in five minutes in the beginning, super cocky, whatever. And then at the end when she comes in, she barely has a part, she barely really contributes to the fight. You know, Cap, uh, Captain America gave Thanos more of a run than she did, and she's supposed to be more powerful than all of them. Mm-hmm. And I really felt we got cheated now. So it was like, what was the point of even having her? Just to come in and destroy the ship? The Hulk could have jumped inside that ship and destroyed it from the inside. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I felt. I felt like we could really got cheated. And then because I gave Captain Marvel such a high rating, thinking I was going to give it a pass, now I'm like, okay, well, that was that was a waste of time too. That, we really could have had a better filler movie if you just wanted to put something out there. Your thoughts, Kumar? My thoughts on Captain Marvel are pretty much the exact same. To the point where how it, it, everything comes back to the writing for to, to this movie for me. I don't know why when watching this movie I thought about writing a lot. So beginning movie, mm. she's just convenience once again. Who finds Tony Stark in the mo- in the beginning? Captain Marvel mm-hmm. brings him back. Boom, everything's perfect. Forget about Captain Marvel for about two and a half hours. She pops up one more time. <laughs> Five minutes later, you forget all about her when Cap when Captain America is giving his speech. And then a minute and a half after that, she comes back in. I look to my friend on the left and say, dude, how'd I forget that Captain Marvel was in this movie? 
<laughs> so when that so you feel me on happened, that one. my first my first actual thought was the writing is so good that it made me forget the past five minutes because in a way I'm not lying to myself but that's still part of the truth it, I was I was caught up in the script I was watching I was engaged we we're all engaged so I feel like that's what made me forget about her completely but she was not also in this movie so I don't know do you think this movie could have been done without her at the same level not quite the same level only because when she first comes down and they all gang up and this is their first mission out to Thanos the only reason she can grab that the only reason they had Thanos by the ball is really because they have Captain Marvel right there Okay. So that's that's my take on that. I agree. So she's a she's she a said, of the movie, but she, she wasn't said as big a as tone, she could have been. A tone of they can do it because you remember <laughs> they were like we've already even if we found him we don't know what we've done we've done all the resources and she was like no I want to go you didn't have me let's do this I'm and even throw was like I like this person so at certain points yeah you did need that character flow flow to I guess get them riled up. But yeah, I, I agree. I did, it came off short. You're trying to build up. This is your Marvel Wonder Woman killer type thing, or share the stage, the stage respectively. And there, there was nothing significant she did. Even when the they were fighting back to back, you're like, this is what you wanted. The strongest in the galaxy, you know, give or take, you know, what Doctor Strange is doing the the sec the second movie. But even one scene where she was literally taking all the hits and it wasn't even phasing at all. For some right. reason. The writing was like, okay, now what? Well, we can't give it up yet. It's supposed to be with Scarlet, and he can't give it up yet because Cap has to have his moment. Can't give it up yet because Iron Man needs his moment. Um, let's flick her out into another universe. So it just—it was weird, just like you said. She disappeared, came back, but they would say it in the writing of as far as the storyline. She'd be like, um, guys, I'm busy. I'm doing the whole universe. I can't be here at once. And when I heard that, I was okay, like, and I was okay with that. I just thought that they the end, she was going to be more about. impactful. But I'm gonna let before I get into, before I respond to something you said, Rama Iris, to chime in. I mean, after hearing all of this, how do you feel about Cap, Captain Marvel, and and do you feel like this movie could have been done without her? Well, just just to set the tone for it first with you guys, um, I didn't get to see Captain Marvel. Neither did I. So, I didn't really get to, you know, right. feel like, oh, okay, you know, how you were saying, Eddie, like, oh, you know, you. that the movie was okay, <clears throat> and they're going to really give her some, some type of serious part in Endgame. Because I didn't see that, I don't have that feeling That's toward you. her like that. So... Her little dabble here and there, for me, was okay because I haven't built that connection with the other movie yet to, to, to make that opinion about Endgame. Um, I mean, I guess once I see Captain Marvel, maybe I'll be like, you know what, Eddie, you, you guys are right. I felt like they should have gave her more because it just wasn't enough for me in Captain Marvel. Um, but in, in, in my opinion, I felt like it wasn't really about her because Thanos originally wasn't really her main problem. It, it started with them. It started with the Avengers. So I felt like if they would have brought her in and she would have been like the, the main heavy hitter, I feel like we wouldn't have seen all these different parts to everybody else because it would have just been her whipping his ass and shit would have been done i'm not i'm not saying i expected her to completely save the day i love the fact that tony stark was the one but i thought that her battle should have been just as epic <coughs> if, not, if not better than the, than mm -hmm. what captain marvel brought i mean what, what uh, captain america brought because captain america gave him run for his money mm -hmm. and maybe she be the reason that tony stark was able to grab the 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 stones from the gauntlet instead of Tony Stark tackling that big ass Thanos and, and <laughs> snatching him off a freaking stat, which was a cool moment, but I just felt like she should have been more involved and gave him just as hard of a run as Captain America did when he when he got him. be more impactful in the beginning with the weak Thanos. You know, he was he was wounded. He was recovering. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's not really establishing 
anything because at the end he was a he was a stronger Thanos. You know what I mean? He, his head, he, he, he even though he didn't have the, the 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 gauntlet the whole time or have all the stones, um, the entire moment he was still he was a lot stronger. And so I felt like I mean this is what you know this is what she's all about. That wasn't actually good enough because he was already like weak and hurt because he had just used it again well, two no, days ago to destroy the stuff. I wasn't saying more like she was powerful. It was the confidence and flair that she had, and that's kind of what got everyone else hyped up. Okay. Um, because yes, he he doesn't have the stones. He's weak. He's done. Um, and that's why you have Thor like a little Easter egg. Thor goes ahead and chops the head off. That's because the regret that he's feeling. Because he from should the have last chopped the head off the first he time. Was yeah. told. <laughs> exactly. So it just it, it it wasn't as much as the power, just the feeling. Like you felt mm-hmm. like even though it was deceitful, and you're like, man, this is way too easy. The first 15 minutes of the movie, she gave you that feeling of wait, wait, we can do this. Wait, wait, something's wrong. Right, right. And and you just kind of went through it that way. So I didn't really necessarily mean the the strength of it, just her confidence. Even when she was on the um, talking with um, Warhammer and everybody on these conference calls and and talking to Wakanda, she was really confident in what she was doing, almost like a cocky conceited. When she came back with the new oh, yeah. haircut, she and was all definitely cocky. Stuff. So I just took but it I loved as. It. Very just very confident. Well, very confident. I feel you. Those 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 were the two biggest issues for me, and and what 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 impacted my my rating. Um, did did Kumar? Did you have anything that actually bothered you? Honestly, I just wish that I couldn't guess the scripts so damn much. I don't know. Very predictable. I, I, like even when yeah, even when like Thor cut off Thanos' head, I, mm-hmm. I I felt moments like that coming. And the line of dialogue, which was, he, he said, you for the head. Mm, man. <coughs> so, like, I just, like, a little, I just feel. More bringing the hit. I just feel, I just feel cool at that point. I'm like, yeah, I'm predicting these, these writers writing. Yeah, I should be a writer. <laughs> I should work for Marvel, huh? <laughs> I mean. I mean, Mar- writing for Marvel is actually <laughs> a high, is a high thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, he's, he's like, what do you mean by that? What you, what What's higher than that? So, I know we're talking about people that didn't show up in the last battle, and I do want to touch on something that Ron brought up in the last conversation that we had. Um, Ron, what was it you were saying about the extra content or extra footage for the final battle? They're saying that that battle could have gone easily two or three hours. The reason why they chopped it down is the, to fit all the stars on there and the cameos they had lined up. It would have made it very quick one-liners, which wouldn't have given you a linear story. So that's why it still feels like, if you think about it now, it still feels like one-liners because when they're playing football with the gauntlet, um, they're basically running through the gauntlet and they're only one-liners. It was like, hey, nice to meet you, or hey, or Vakri, you, you got me on the Pegasus. Like They were really quick lines. And even the part where they wanted to get all the women together, oh, um, they did. It was yes. it was just very fitting everything together. It was like it wasn't really flowing. So I I, I, did, I didn't knock them because of that battle. I felt like the movie because of that. Once I found out, I'm like the movie should have been one more movie. I mean, you, you could have broken it up right before this battle, and you could have made almost like a, a Game of Thrones type of thing. You could have made the next movie just a battle. An extra movie just about but, it. Like, I, I would have. That would have been that. nice too. I would have yeah. been completely. That would have been yeah. awesome. Satisfied. As soon as, as soon as. Th- that would have been pleasing to. The, but think like, about it. Think about nice. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange would have started opening, and you're like, "Oh, here we go, here we go." <laughs> That's it, and you're like, "Oh, wow." You know now. Now I, I know I'm I'm going on about all these things that I would have preferred to see, and then of course yeah. you saying this, Ron. <coughs> When the Blu-ray drops, I'll probably will be satisfied to see some stuff, some content of the Hulk that wasn't there, or some some other things. Well, when it I'm, comes out in Blu-ray and DVD and digital download, we'll be all set. Okay, I have one more gripe that I really want to get into here, and I'm gonna go ahead and start explaining it, and I may lose you, but try to stick <laughs> with me here, okay? <coughs> Nebula. All right, let's talk yeah. about Nebula. All right, so we all saw that. We all knew that when they were traveling with that with that red fluid from the original Ant Man, that they only had enough for one round trip. Okay, so that old Nebula takes it off a of new Nebula and hands it to Thanos. Shows him like, hey, this is the shit they're traveling with. Okay, but she takes her place and comes back to the present 
as new nebula so she's undercover so that means salt to have used the even though she they for some reason i don't know why they let her just disappear but how does she hack into the system and still bring them through even though i know i know she's you know all half android or whatever and she's from a different part of space but how does she a able to and they're on the same Wi-Fi. Don't remember that. Don't forget. That. How, without that, <laughs> without the navigation or that fluid, how is she able to just know and hack the system? Remember, and they and had to bring, shrink the ship. Not only did she just bring time, Thanos through, she and they just right. came back and brought the whole fucking ship. So, it's not like they had a chance to set up their own version on the other end. And, how and how it's not like they had the serum in order. Right, and they didn't have the serum in order for them to travel through or the navigation tool. How did new did cool Nebula? What I was this is how. to, I thought it was just more okay. so the writers just telling you that Thanos made a copy of the pin particles and they shrunk the ship and then boom, they there. That's oh, okay, yeah, I, 30 I, minutes. I, like, it was, minutes. like it was just implied. Whenever we have to guess, yeah, then, yeah, they, no. then they didn't do the job. And yeah, it needs to be it needs to be clear. Now, if it's a deleted scene, I'll take That's my words writing, back yeah. later. And they they've just cut in time, and they were like, they'll figure it out. That had okay, I should have figured it out. Or honestly, yeah. to just give us that moment, those extra two minutes to show us what happened, instead of us assuming. Because we go ahead. Go ahead. What they could have done if when Nebula comes down, had she said something like, if somebody said, "Hey man, what time is it? We're supposed to have lunch," and she's like. Wait, how long has it been? Like you know this. It's only been five minutes. Wait, it wasn't three years. Something to show that she felt that she was longer over there would have made more sense. Like let's say she would have came back and was confused with time. If they and she said something like five or seven years, they had time, time to you would develop. Say in your head, okay, what Kamar? What he's saying like it makes sense. Like oh maybe they were working on a factory, and then they came over and to the time we're in now was only five minutes. But because you didn't get that. You got to have as story continuing like, hey, look, I don't know what to do with the plot. Let's just do this. Wiggle your fingers in the computer system and no one's going to pay attention to it. And that's exactly what it was. She fingered the hell out of that machine. She did. Iris, Iris what were you going to say? What was, what was your issue with Nebula? Okay. So because past Nebula technically is also new good Nebula... What kills me is if y'all are on the same, yeah. technically on the same time, not just the same Wi-Fi, but oh, wow. the right. same timeline, because technically the strip that they were on is infinite right. and it's all connected. Yeah. So even right. though you're jumping to the, it, you're still on the same timeline. So if you killed your bad self, your punk ass would have died. Because right. that means you never would have survived. I, I say gave it a that. rule. I, I just assumed it was a, an Android versus You Apple. can't. No, you can't kill your past self. Your present self can't kill so, your past self because then you don't get to finish seeing the rest I've, of your life. What I've read about this movie so far is that the Russo said that they're going by Dragon Ball Z <coughs> time rules where they did, yeah, Hulk ended up if saying you that. travel back in time to the past, no matter what, you're still coming back to your future. And they said that. That's what they said. So they... They straight yeah. up going by Dragon Ball Z time rules, and that's honestly okay because Dragon Ball Z, and that's why they're verbally accepted. Like, I give you an example. You guys can't see it right now, really, but I have two Samsung phones, right? Because they sent me a new one to fix the other one. They both work. They want their phone. They're not going to get it right now. But for the meantime, I'm getting Texas on both. How if it's only one fucking number? It's Marvel, <laughs> damn it. It's Marvel. So that's why I, like, I didn't mess with anything on the time situation because i just looked at it as it's not significant it's not realistic but neither fucking superhero right so i didn't i i when when she got shot i expected something like back to the future where she was gonna fade away or something because even if you look at it when they go with thor and add him with the guardian of the galaxies right the spinoff and they do story. that good yeah that's that, where we're headed you're gonna have gamora there and gamora might start falling in love with him all over again how is that possible in a way, because she's brought over from another time point, and they're going to keep that that way. They've opened, like, if you realize in the movie, they open about two or three different um, time paths Threads, or whatnot. as I like to call them. <laughs> yeah. Well, from... So you you, you still, you've got the one with Loki. He might not be dead now. He's got because his own he took TV off show left. coming uh, on the business Yeah, show he's got the TV so. show coming. Yeah, so he's not dead, so that timeline switched. Thanos dying, 
that was another timeline. That was the very beginning. Mm-hmm. And I, forget, I feel like I'm missing on that. I mean, I, I guess if it's a different strand, if you want to take it as that. But you got Hulk talking to the uh, it just, chosen one. I just... So that means Iron Man and Scarlet, I mean, Iron Man and um, Black Widow aren't dead then. Because they're, they're, they would be. No, but what I'm saying is if, if we go with the timeline that we're on that we saw when the movie finished, then yes, they're dead. But if you go by, again, the first timeline, which is Thanos dying, that means they're not dead yet. Because Thanos is dead, the battle never happened. The low-key one would have changed. That's a different timeline. That's something else. So this possible that you do have different timelines that are open where some of the characters who you thought were dead aren't dead. And even with um, Captain America, we have no idea what he did when he was over there because there's something weird. Because remember when Bucky was sitting there, Bucky was like, hey, man, uh, I'll see you a little bit. Like he was cool with it. No one else knew what Captain America was doing when he took off to go fix everything, take the hammer, put it back, everything. When he came back, remember, Falcon was sitting there saying... Hey man, where's Cap? And Bucky, with no hesitation, was like, "Look over there." He knew that he was going to be sitting there wearing the same jacket for the first. Oh, I think part. you miss. I think you miss. What uh, you misread that scene? No, I don't think he knew. I think he looked and then it, no. it was like he just there he was. No, because they, I don't no, think no, he knew. To me, no, listen, like listen. He just looked over no, there and was l- like, "When you when you right. go back and watch it, look at the confidence and smirk that Bucky has Bucky had when he's smirk. when he's when he's walking." And remember what? Yeah, once he no, saw him. Remember when he said, "Hey, look, I'll see you later. Not if I see you first. Like ugly, don't get in trouble." You know the, the little catchphrase they've been saying. It was, yeah. yeah, it was just genuine. And then he like as if he knew exactly what was gonna happen. Like they already had talked about it. He's gonna live his life and come back when he was ready on his terms. So when he got back, Bucky wasn't. It wasn't like Bucky was looking around. <coughs> Bucky was literally just looking at Falcon, like looking at the moment, like cherishing the moment. And he goes, "Look, he's right over there." They go over there, and he's like, no, what is this? And he looks like, no, seriously, go look. Like, how would you know that that's him? All you see is an old man on a bench. Bucky was literally looking at him like, go. Go for what? Just just go. Even when he got the shield, he said, no. I kind of, I, no, I like Ron's viewpoint on Michael Moore. You, li- you like it, but that doesn't mean that's what it was. Just because you like oh, it. we don't know Because what, what I was. saw, what, what I, uh-huh. well, I mean, what I saw is what I believe and what you saw is what you believe. So, so I saw that Bucky actually had a moment of 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 shock. oh shit. Look he sees somebody sitting over there, he's and then he's like, look over there all of a sudden because he just I their 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 present all of a sudden changed because of the decision that, that he made back then. And then boom, there he is. And it just seems seems seamless because you know that's how they're 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 doing the time this right. so i'm just gonna have to i watch it again but honestly I, that's not what i saw i'm telling you i think he knew i think they talked about it i think he talked there, about there it. might have been and again scene that's why he sat there that's why i felt like that's why he sat there and he never looked at cap he only looked at falcon like hey listen this is your shield can i take it yeah like it just to, to, to look over there and see a dude on the bench, that's fine. We would all say, oh, whoa, what the hell? There's someone over there. But his confidence of, yo, go up there, talk to him. He didn't go to talk to him. He sat back as if he already knew the conversation. He never once approached that. He's like, this is your moment. Even the part where they're running for all the movies and he goes, past me on the left. This is the first time where he's like, I'm on your right. He's like, no, now it's your turn. So I think that whole thing was Bucky saying, hey, look, me and Cap have talked. We know exactly what's happening. And this is your turn. All right, listen. I mean, I hear you, man. But we just gonna have to agree to disagree, man. I I feel like that smirk and Bucky noticing it is just the same yep, as us in the audience. As soon as I saw it, I knew what happened. I figured it. You know, <laughs> the way I see it is Bucky. He saw what happened. And, you, and like, Ron, you also today, have to like remember the they were thing. in Wakanda with each other for a good, good minute. Uh-huh. They've known each other for years. Like sometimes you don't even need to talk to your brother from another mother because y'all are just connected like that so i feel i mean i i agree with eddie on this i feel like he when he looked up he saw he was like i already know what's up this nigga stayed in 1945 yeah that's his boy mm-hmm. he already knows what was up like okay this he nigga didn't come then, to then if that's a, i know he did listen listen if that's the case then bucky is that dude who you know you hang out with that person you hang out with who doesn't know some shit but plays it off like they do know it 
It's like, oh man, I I know the airbags. Came. Oh man, you didn't know the airbags came out there. Everybody know the airbag, but he know damn well he <laughs> know those airbags come out there. I guess. I don't know. Whatever. We'll just take that as a. a but green even to even if that is the case, that means that's another timeline that's open. Well, oh yeah. All right. All right. All right. It's time we shut this down and rate this bad boy. There's a few conversations that um, aren't going to be included on this particular one that hopefully I'll be able to circulate throughout social media with little snippets and promos but uh as of right now i think it's a good place to close this particular version of the conversation so let's go ahead and uh and rate this thing okay kumar go ahead and give us that rating that you uh gave us already give us (laughs) uh tell us your rating and tell us why the reason behind my 10 out of 10 rating is quite simple and it's what I started the argument with, and it's what I will finish the argument with. At the end of the day, even though there was probably maybe two imperfections in the script, the story still kept me going along the way, and it literally made me forget about the previous five minutes. Like, I've, it's, it's, it's really funny. I forgot that the whole Avengers and the whole world got snapped back into existence when the Hulk had the gauntlet on. Like... Cause shit got crazy. Shit was really getting crazy. So I feel like the the movie and the and the story was just moving at such a great and excellent pace that it it had that effect to the point where you're watching something so good you forget about what happened literally just now. So all right, Iris, let's have it. Uh, give us your rating and tell us why. Yes, my rating is a nine out of ten. And the reason for that is because there were certain things that I didn't notice that you guys brought to my attention during the conversation. Because there were points that you guys had had uh, made apparent that I didn't really pay attention to and realize um, until after the fact. Um, that's what changed me because originally it was going to be a 10 out of 10 for me, but it's a 9 out of 10. Okay, Ron, let's go. Uh, your rating and um, why, sir. I didn't want to have the same problem I did with some of the Star Wars or Bat, um, Batman vs Superman, where you just get into it and you straight up say it's eleven out of ten. Um, realistically, <laughs> realistically, I left the theater and you gave me twenty-two movies. Okay, you gave me some movies I was, you know, I was jumping out, and other movies I wasn't. Um, you gave me a great storyline. Had this been one whole movie itself, I could see myself knocking off some storyline stuff. But again. There was so much in this movie, whether it was action or the story and, and everything. We can nitpick it, but it was just a good conclusion um, for the next chapter of what Marvel was going to do. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And the reason I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 is I honestly felt with the 22 movies build up, with the characters being established, and some really good actors. These aren't people that just put on costumes for birthday parties. These are really good actors in here. <coughs> And I wanted more passion, more... I'll give you an example. The same scene where Scarlet, we lose um, Black Widow. It was not as an impactful moment. And even if you think about it, she didn't... I thought the rule was you had to give up something. I didn't know you can go and commit suicide. Facts. Because it wasn't like Hawkeye threw her or pushed her or anything like that. It was she literally committed suicide. They were fighting to see who could commit suicide. And I didn't know that's, that's how it worked. I thought you had to give up some, but I, I, I ignored it. But what I mean by that is that moment was not as heart-wrenching as the same location with Thanos and his daughter. When that moment happened, the lead-up, the slow motion, that tearjerker, that feeling that you had... And the sound, the music, all of that was... Ca- I, you can't get to the end game and, and make me think that Civil War and other movies had better realistic moments or more... Uh, better acting. Um, I, I want to say the money shot, if that makes sense. But, I mean, overall, 9 out of 10, it just I would have liked to see um, the actors allowed to show their range. Hmm. That was it. Yeah, I just wanted I just wanted everybody because you had one point where Cap going against Cap and he, nobody was in the theater thinking in their head, what if he yelled at Martha? <laughs> and, and listen, exactly, listen. He's and so then stupid. I and then I got scared when when he dropped the little photo and they looked at each other. How did you get that? 
Martha? I'm like, see, I'm like. <laughs> so, like I said, the nine isn't a bad nine. It's a great nine, realistically nine. Okay, now, now based on everything I mentioned already, is what impacted my rating. Um, I, I thought that Captain Marvel was definitely um, pointless in this movie. Um, she was un under underused, undervalued, however you want to word it. You know, misused. Um, definitely could have had a more meaningful more powerful impact with her being the strongest being i understand it was supposed to fall back into the original avengers hands to save it all because it's an avengers movie which is perfectly fine but she still should have had a bigger impact um so that that impacted me uh the hulk not being in the final battle not seeing him get that second shot at thanos now i i know that we mentioned that there's there's hours of content that's been uh cut so i may get it uh, down the line but on the cinematic on the big screen what matters to me right in that moment I needed to get a little bit of it and I got none of it so that really hurt my heart and we, we did already have our little discussion about uh, the time and Nebula and the hacking and whatnot. I'm not going to go into those details again but still with all of that this movie was still phenomenal to me I still walked out of that movie feeling like um very satisfied like i i got a great closure to this chapter after all these years all these movies i felt like uh they really did us a great service like like i said it's we're we're, we're a part of history and i just was so happy walking out of there those moments that affected me were not enough to actually make me dislike the movie it just the fact that it distracted me from the movie is why i lowered my rating and because i really wanted it. just being really passionate about those things so my overall movie linger rating is going to be a nine out of ten So combining everyone together, overall, the Avengers Endgame movie lingo rating is a 9.25. 9.25. And we don't do that often, but because of this movie, I'm going to let it get every bit it needs to get. So 9.25 it is. And honestly, that's, a, that's very fair. It's not a perfect movie, but it's far from a bad movie. This is a phenomenal movie. And 9.25 movie lingo rating makes perfect sense. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to shut this thing down. Listen, I want to go ahead and have this heartfelt moment to say... It's been a long time since we've been on Movie Lingo together, a long time since we've been able to share our opinions and have our debates and discussions. I miss you guys doing this. Um, we we were doing video back in the days. Now we're, we're getting collectively on Skype and just doing these audio reviews. But I've, I miss these discussions. I'm really glad that you guys were able to take the time to come out and, um, <clears throat> and make this happen. And I, I hope we can get together like this again because uh, we're actually coming up on four years. May 12th will be four years for Movie Lingo. We started with Age of Ultron. Uh, May, May 12th, 2015 was when I first posted. Um, and here we are coming on uh, four years now. So I, I couldn't be prouder to be doing it with you guys despite the inconsistencies, the ups and downs with this with Movie Lingo. Um, I still love doing this and I still love doing this with you guys. All right. I want to thank you guys for joining us for another Movie Lingo discussion. I'm Eddie Lingo. I'm Iris. I love you 3000. And I'm Kumar. <laughs> and we'll see you on the next one.